Hey, hello, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I got my little St. Patty's hat on here and I got my little green frogs and my green shirt. So uh, yeah, uh, but we're in self-isolation though. Uh, not, no one here has any symptoms, but uh, we're just um, going out only when absolutely necessary if we need some groceries or anything like that. So uh, me and the puppies, the wet, dirty puppies. We just came from a, a lovely hike in the woods. Uh, so they always decide to crash on my nice, uh, clean bed. So yeah, it's it's really nice. If you're going stir crazy, go out for a walk. Um, I mean, there's not a lot of people out anyhow in the woods, so I never run across anyone usually. So um, go to a park or something like that or just go out for a walk and it really does make a difference especially if you feel like you're going a little bit stir crazy um so anyway i'm going to show you what i am uh, burning and melting today and then the first thing in my bedroom is a uh, cinnamon irish cream now, it's just a coincidence that it's Irish cream uh, because I've had this burning for a couple of days and um, I never really thought of the connection uh, till now. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, cinnamon Irish cream. So this one is almost done. And this is a, um, a very creamy cinnamon. It's not a red hot cinnamon. It's just very creamy. Um, so yeah, it's almost like... Um, almost like an Irish cream in a way. Uh, it, so yeah, it does smell quite nice. It does have a little bit of a smoky note in it, I've noticed, um, but I like that. Uh, but yeah, it's just a, a very creamy cinnamon kind of scent. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys just have to uh, dry off on my bed, don't you? And I have a couple of shifts at the hospital this week, and they're... Uh, really putting a lot of restrictions into effect with the visitors and everything like that. So anyway, uh, kind of used to it from uh, SARS way back when. So alrighty, uh, I'll go on uh, to the next fragrance. So this was Garrett's room. So I actually did find a rug um, for underneath the bed there. And I don't know why, but I got white, so it's totally impractical with the puppies. Um, sometimes they come in here, but <laughs> anywho, and I did find a um, silver embossed mirror also. So anyway, what I am melting in here, this is my Scentsy Warmer, and I did put in uh, Yankee Candles. not going to focus. Mountain Lodge. How come it's not focusing? Anyway, Mountain Lodge. So yeah, this is one of my favorite Yankee scents of all time. Uh, I really wish they would bring it out in a scent cup. Though, I have to say, I always have pretty good luck with the melts in the Mountain Lodge. So if there is a, um, a tart sale, I usually stock up on this scent because I really do have, like it's filling up the room here and it's just that uh, yummy, leathery, woodsy kind of scent. It's just, it's one that you just have to kind of smell. It's just so good. To me, it's not cloney. It's just a really rich, yummy scent. Um, yes, I, I just love that one. And uh, so I'll go on to the next. Okay, so in the living room, uh, I do have most of my winter stuff put away, um, but I still have Mr. Snowman here, so probably within the next few days I will uh, switch him out. Uh, but in my uh, votive holders here, I do have Yankee Candles Crisp Morning Air, and that was a fall scent that came out a couple of years ago. So it's not, it doesn't smell like a fall scent. I kind of burn it year round. It's, uh, it's, kind of, it's a very soft, not quite cloney uh, scent. It's, it's kind of a perfumey scent, um, but it it's really is quite pretty. So I, I like burning that year round. Now, now you're down here with Mama. Oh, dirty and wet jar. Abby, Abby. Selective hearing. 
And this is my other Scentsy warmer, Love is All You Need. It is just such a pretty warmer. And I just put in Rainbow Berry. I had this burning in the kitchen, but I think it was just kind of overpowered by all the kitchen smells. So I'm going to try it in the family room here. Uh, but it is a good scent. It's just like a mixture of, of berries. But I'm hoping in this room I'll get a little, a little better sense of the of the fragrance. Um, but yeah, that that uh, warmer is just so pretty. Okay, I thought I'd get a bit of a green candle here going since it's St. Patty's Day. Uh, this is uh, Yankee's Macaron Treats. And this one has a pretty good throw. Now, I haven't burned it for a little while, so um, I just brought it out for the spring. But I do remember it throwing fairly well, actually. It probably had about a 7 out of 10 throw. And it's a really, really good, uh, creamy kind of sweet scent. Um, I really do like it, so... Uh, we'll see how it goes. And then, um, oh, I did, this is where I had the other Scentsy uh, Berry uh, one here. And this is my other Scentsy Warmer here. So, yeah, it's just in a spot where it's uh, right near the cooking. And um, Frank and Julian tend to use a lot of spices in it. <laughs> uh, things get kind of overwhelmed in the kitchen here. So, anyway, in the pantry area... I do have Better Homes and Gardens Orange Buttercream Cupcake and I have a value pack size of this one. It is so good. It's a very strong throw. It's very long lasting and you can really smell that uh, orange in there and uh, yeah it just smells just like orange icing. It is so good. It's, it's a really really good one and I'm glad I have some backups of it. In the powder room, I have Ashland's Camellia and Sweet Pea. And I think that's just from last summer. And I really like this one. It actually is throwing very well and lasting quite a while. And I do like Sweet Pea scents. Uh, Camellia, I'm not sure about what the smell is, but I do like Sweet Pea scents. It's just a very sweet floral. It's really, really quite a pretty one, so I'm really enjoying this one. And last but certainly not least is Yankee Candle World Journeys Rolling Hills of Ireland. And uh, yeah, this one is uh, very light, almost, it's kind of a sweet greenery scent. Um, it's probably got about a 7 out of 10 throw on it. Um, I really miss these World Journeys candles. I wish they would bring them back because I had really good luck with them. And they're a two wick paraffin. They always have such a good burn. Um, yeah, this one's throwing quite nicely, and uh, yes, I really loved my trip to Ireland in September. It was, I loved every second of it. Such a beautiful country. So yes, I thought it was appropriate to be burning this candle on St. Patty's Day. So that is it. Uh, so yeah, it's a cool, cool day today, and the sun comes and goes, but it's uh, feeling spring-like more and more each week. So um, I've been kind of uh, wrapping myself up in the blanket and coming out with a nice hot tea and uh, reading my books. Uh, so yeah, all the dogs are munching on their bones. So anyway, um, yeah, everyone uh, just uh, self-isolate if you can. Just go out when you need to. And uh, the more we do that, the sooner this will be over with. Um, yes, I have to say I'm going into major shopping withdrawal. <laughs> But anyway, it's one thing that kind of helps with my anxiety quite a bit. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I really hate to make someone sick. So I, I'm just, I'm quite happy to self-isolate and uh, just get caught up on some things around the house. Um, my house is going to be quite clean by the time this is all done. But <laughs> So, Ed, got to look at the silver lining to everything. So anyway, um, everyone take care and stay healthy and think about um, people that can't get out of their houses and uh, if they're the elderly or disabled or what have you and just can't get out, just kind of help them out if you can. And uh, if we work together, we'll all get through this. And uh, yeah, so they, oh, the puppies are just grinding on their bones. They have no clue what's going on, which is a good thing, right? 
Um, so yes, everyone take care. Uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss. Um, well, from a distance. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.